our friend was at one of our after parties. He was one of the promoters. I actually, he was the owner of one of the big, not big, the, but the first open air raves in Brazil. Yeah, back true. It was one of the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was one of the first. Back in 97, 97. he was there in our home and we were doing after, you know, playing right. records, Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And he was there. And then he, he, we were playing, and then he he looked to us and said, "Yeah, but you playing nice, you know. You should start to play for the people, okay. you know, because we were buying records, we were mixing already, having fun." Okay, so my next party, you're gonna, I'll, I'll book you. All right. But then he, at the same time, he said to us, and he said, "But you know what? You need to find a name. Okay. Because of use Anna and David <laughs> won't be very nice because in Brazil also the." There's folk a singers. kind of a uh, okay. po popular folk, folk singers. but it's all, always a duo. Uh, okay. So it's always two persons, like uh, for example, uh, Tonico and Tinoco. Uh, okay. It's always like, it works so like, like that. Like Anna and David, uh, people would say. Maria think. and Pedro. Is that, is that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then we'll say, we'll say, yeah, that's true, we need to find a name. Okay. And then we were, I don't know, thinking so many, because when we you were young, sometimes you have very creative mind, uh -huh. more than <laughs> more than needed. Yeah, more than yeah, needed. Yeah, yeah. But then it came to the point that we love animals, okay. yeah. and we are a duo, so it made perfect sense for oh, us. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, afterwards we came became vegetarians and then okay. ve vegans, okay. and uh, for <laughs> since two thousand three we are we are vegetarians. Mm -mm. So then it came uh, it, it even. Be, be came more to a sense oh, right, because yeah. we, we love the pets and okay. we think animals can be pets mm -mm. and the pets are animals mm -mm. and then uh, we need to respect all animals okay. as pets. It came as a consequence. We didn't okay. think it was like, okay, so now let's play mm -mm. this kind of music. Since the beginning mm -mm. Uh, of our musical career, we always played the harder stuff that oh, was available okay. because our main influences are very hard and dark because uh, Anna comes with a uh, uh, heavy metal and, uh, and death metal background and uh, I have a, a kind of industrial and mm -hmm. uh, EBM mm -hmm. background mm -hmm. so it's like a uh, hard techno with hard techno we merge mm -hmm. those two mm -hmm. st those two uh, uh, main influences very good well, to the point that uh, last year we released an album called Metal Rave. Metal Rave, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but then uh, the thing is that uh, uh, in 97, when we started playing, we were gr trying to find the, the hardest and darkest that, oh, okay. we, that we, we could, and we were playing this kind of music okay. inside techno, okay. not going to uh, hardcore. We, yeah. did, we didn't like a, uh, the super hardcore uh, 170, 180 BPMs. Mm -hmm. it, it was mm -hmm. uh, our. our uh, uh, thing at, okay. uh, at that time okay. and uh, the m music evolved the music developed to a point that appeared hard techno mm -hmm. hard techno is a thing that came uh, almost at the same time that Schranz came okay so that that, that would be like uh, b between 2000, 2000 and, and 2002 it's really established the, yeah. the, the, the how the style yeah. the style sounded and uh, we were uh, we were totally inside the, the the development of this sound. Oh, right, we yeah. were playing the main things that were, were that were uh, the influencers of the okay. beginning of this style, yeah. and it, it came as a, a consequence to our music. You feel like you have always been involved in the center of the development of the, the genre. Mm, I, think. I think so. Okay. Yes. It, uh, uh, and hard techno, the name hard techno was already established. So f guys like uh, uh, Glenn Wilson, Adam Bayer, Adam Bayer was Adam a hard Bayer. techno. Yeah, yeah. At, at the time, yes, at the time. Uh, there was already the term the, the, of the genre, but there was not uh, the way that we know nowadays. Okay. It's this it's typical, the rolling bass and that's uh, the, the specific sound of the genre it was they were the those guys like David said even Chris Liebing that was the guy that okay. took the talk up, talked about the shrans okay. and uh, he was saying not making fun it was something that uh, that the, the kids on the dance floor was uh, 
dancing and cr uh, screaming, mm -hmm. but he joined together two words in German. Okay. Schrei, you did the scream, mm -hmm. and tanzen, this dance. The dance, and so it, they, he puts da uh, schranz. Okay. Yeah, that's the, uh, scream the, dance. Yeah, basically. scream yeah. dance, because okay. it was, you know, uh, younger people, lots of energy, okay. and uh, also became a wave of. Uh, Hard techno uh, producers from Germany. By the time OB, Frank Vita, Amok, Sven Witt, Wittgen, Boris Lessus, Robert Nato, Zarko Speed was a wave of uh, producers okay. from Germany that uh, so was really really popular and also most of the pr the, the tracks came from Germany. Mm -mm. So that was association from the term Schranz. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, it is almost as like uh, the hard techno transformed into shrans, and then it was readapted as hard techno. Oh, okay. But uh, actually, when the term said, uh, Chris Libby said, this is shrans, the, the, uh, uh, this new wave was not there already. No, okay. no, it was not. Uh, yeah, but then uh, 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 the, most of the scene recognized this new wave as shrans, yes. oh, but no, it is okay. not. It, it, is, it is proper hard techno. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. When do you, when when was when was um, when was the wave coming? That you know, well, this was like a two thousand and one, two thousand one, two thousand one, two thousand two. Two thousand one, two thousand two. Okay. This was the, yeah. the established the new wave totally. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. There was the the big uh, big guys, the big DJs playing already really fast. The the actually the really pioneer was. Rush, yes, uh, and, Rush and, 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 yeah, and Chris Leaving. Yeah, Chris but this is uh, the, how c how came the rolling bass? Yes, because the thing is that Rush was always putting the the, the volumes to the max, okay. and the compression couldn't handle it. Oh, right. So the compression was smashing the sound when the beat was coming in, and uh, uh, afterwards there was a uh, uh, like a. Um, uh, a consequence, uh, uh, the, uh, a response from the, 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 the speakers that came after the beat came in, there was like mm -hmm. So that, that came like this mm -hmm. And then the kids, Sven Wittekin, Viper XXL, they, 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 they hear what DJ Rush was doing and they try to replicate that oh, sound okay. inside the studio oh, okay. And they did it And they did it, this is how came the rolling bass Which is actually, oh, there's a principal kick drum that comes at a one And uh, until the next kick drum comes in, there's three other kick drums layered one b okay. after the other, but in a lower volume. Oh, That's right. why you hear this. <laughs> this is the sound yeah. of the hard tech, but not like the very yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But the main thing is that they were trying to replicate DJ Rush's oh, style DJ of playing okay. live. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lots of uh, energy in okay. this music, and there's mainly focus to dance oh and right. to make a hard uh, impact uh, <laughs> sports, whatever, something like this. And um, it's also sports, yeah. Also, also <laughs> sports, <laughs> for sure. And um, also, is a lot of uh, cuts. The performance is really hectic. You know, you go doing lots of things and. Uh, Lots of things happens at the same time, but it's mainly to a lot of energy. You can dance. It puts all your what is troubling you out, and uh, is a how do you say kind of a meditation. You uh, know, yeah, you understand. can get into a trance uh, uh, and, and oh my God, yeah, leave understand. all the things yeah. out. Yeah, because I love you it. really move I your body, it. and uh, you don't think about anything. Just dance your troubles away, let, yes. let's say like this. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like about heart attack. It's, <coughs> not a, it's not a type of music you can listen all the time when you try to relax, mm -hmm. impossible. It's, mm -hmm. Of course, there's a time and place, maybe when you clean your house, you <laughs> go for a party, do a sports or in a club. But uh -uh. For me, it's perfect by the more uh, uh, reaching the end of the, the, the night. It's okay. really nice when you have more energy yeah. also. Yeah. It's energetic in music. Yes, yeah. it is very much. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I can say from my side that uh, I love hard techno because it merges this idea of techno that brings us always the sound that you have never heard in your life. Yeah. Even though there is the rolling bass, which is a, a sound that everybody who's into hard techno knows, is mm. 
uh, this this powerful rhythm just adds more to the sauce, I All think. Right. And this the 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 it makes me want to hear the next d -d -d. Ah. <laughs> yeah it just keeps me wanting more and more and more mm. and more go like okay just give me more give me it's more it's like give me a more. drive yeah, yeah yeah it gives me a lot of drive yeah. and uh of course with the sound that you have never heard the big surprise that comes with the breakdowns and also the cuts fast edits for me it's really the most amazing music that i have ever mm -hmm. heard in my entire life mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why i keep playing it beautiful